Breaking tonight, Ashley Banfield has got an exclusive new, never-before-seen video showing Brian Koberger at a traffic stop one month before the murders of those four University of Idaho students he's now accused of killing. This is not the one you may have seen before. First, the traffic stop video where we clearly hear and see Koberger the best we've seen him so far. So can you, would you explain that to me a little bit further? So in Pennsylvania, when you're mm -hmm. stuck like in their intersection, mm -hmm. you have to make the left. So what would, what would the appropriate thing for me to have done? There was a little bit of confusion with speeding because someone had stopped. I wasn't sure what they were doing, and then they put on their light to turn. Mm -hmm. So I thought that maybe they were letting me go through. Oh. Did you see that? This is an exclusive to Ashley Banfield. She also has new videos showing police raiding Koberger's apartment in Washington State, where he was living at the time of the killings. Joining me now is Ashley Banfield. All right, Ashley, uh, talk to us. What Provide some context for us about these videos. Right, so we put in a Freedom of Information uh, request months and months ago, and finally today it came through. What's super interesting, not just about what you just showed, but when the police showed up at his apartment at WSU for the raid, the execution of the warrant, um, they all had body cams. So we've got five different body cams of what happened at that apartment. And it's interesting to see what they redacted. But one thing they didn't redact, information about Brian Koberger's bedroom and Brian Koberger's storage locker. So that's coming up mm. uh, in seconds, Dan. All right, we will look forward to it. Ashley Banfield, thank you. And that does it for us tonight. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.